Hey YouTube, KVX here. Uh, another update on the Nike Mac project. So I've s nearly finished um, the master parts for the new heel cups. Uh, not 100% sure. I have to recheck my reference shots. I have uh, altered the size of that versus this because the uh, the images that I had showed clearly showed these were lower. But I'm also thinking now from a end user perspective, um, I may actually be better building these up and just building this one up a little bit. I'll have to check it on a shoe and check my reference shots just to see where I'm going with that. Um, as you can see the letters are on and they look pretty awesome. Um, they're stuck on with the rubber matting and that's so that I can add my texture over the top and hopefully I'll have to get the Dremel out and just go in a little bit in between these sections here. But what I wanted was my letters to stand out proud from the uh, from the texture when I put it on and not lose the letters inside that texture so if that makes sense um, the other part of course is the, the bubbles um, which are done now so I've got my two moulds here um, these are essentially a bit of a head case actually I'm trying to get these to pour without getting trapping air because you've got hollows and details on both sides as opposed to um, detail on one side. I had a few issues so I've hopefully I've nailed it this time. Um, there's the master part inside but basically it'll be poured from the top probably with a syringe and clamped between two pieces of perspex. I'll use clear so I can actually see my fill lines and let the cure that way. Um, when I do this part because of the size of the part and the amount of silicon it'll use, I'm probably going to put a piece of pipe in here when I make it up so that it's a, um, a hollow part and you can fill the hollow in with a cheap resin later on to act as a um, support. Um, and just basically make, a, make two skins for this thing. But when I do these, I th the best course of action I can think of is to have it upside down when I um, pull the parts so that way the resin can run down into all the detail make sure it fills this up because the last thing I want is to have an air, air pocket in here that would just be a waste of time and quite disappointing um, hopefully that should work anyway we'll just have to go and see and lastly is uh, well here's one mould that I've just finished so if I can just pop this open with one hand, um, you can see that it's the uh, ankle buckle mould, so that's ready to go. It just needs a bit of a clean up, a bit of a wash, and uh, we're ready to go there too. So that's all um, all coming together nicely, and uh, these parts will probably be ready for purchase in the next probably two weeks. So uh, stay tuned and thanks for watching.